My name is Kathy Petridge. I moved down here from New York about 13 years ago um, into a community I can't believe. I thought I was leaving a home when I left Long Island, but when I came here I found a home with more friends than I could possibly believe. Um, I wanted to give back, I wanted to get involved. I always felt that one person can make a difference if they strongly believe, have passion what they believe in, and are enthusiastic. And I know I do not lack enthusiasm. That's why they call me the Energizer Bunny in Fairfield Harbor. Um, the first thing I got involved in that I had always wanted to do was working the soup kitchen. It was amazing to see the people come in and the fact that you could make a difference in their lives by just being there and helping serve them. That was really, really great. Um, then you get uh, this contagious feeling when you move down here. All you want to do is keep on going, and I find that is so contagious in Fairfield Harbor. Everybody there wants to just keep on finding more things that they can help people with. Um, we had the CERT uh, Community Emergency Response Team were starting up, and I became assistant director after one year of being in it. We got involved with Stanley Kite, and we got cots, and we got uh, stretchers, and we did drills so that people would know exactly what it would be like if we did have a real emergency at Fairfield Harbor. Um, I became pod certified. I'm a licensed veterinarian technician. I took extra classes so that I could work with animals during an emergency situation. But then we needed a trailer. So I ran an auction dinner dance. Um, they said I couldn't do it, but I did it in two months. And we raised $3,600 and got our trailer that week. It was amazing. Here, it's just unbelievable. People just give. Um, I worked for the church back in New York. I wanted to get in church. Here I became, um, it's called CCD teacher, and, um, and I tutored at the school. I became a Eucharistic minister, which was really close to my heart as well. So I was able to get involved in the church here because I have all this time. Then I got involved with Relay for Life, and that became a very strong passion to me because my girlfriend was struggling. Uh, we did the dog parade, and we raised $600 having the dogs come in at Santa Claus and they sat on their laps and we had a beauty contest. Um, and then we started doing garage sales for Relay and last year we won the award for um, one of the top Relay teams in the Northeast Carolina community altogether. It was beautiful, beautiful ceremony. And we raised over $10,000. Um, this year it became more personal because my husband has cancer. And the outpouring it was just amazing. We have 15 people on our team now, so it's really, really grown. I had to give up a lot of the stuff because of, of care for my husband, but oh, my biggest passion, my biggest passion was hospice. I'd done hospice care for six years, and there's no way anybody could give back to people what you get when you work with hospice. I've been amazed at how I feel going there. My grandkids go with me. We play games. Um, I started in New York before pet therapy was a thing. I started to call it pet a pet and we used to take our animals to nursing homes and to veterans homes. So I started down here bringing my pets to hospice patients and now we have a regular uh, therapy pet for hospice and you see these patients get one of these little dogs in their hands and it lights up the whole room. It lights up. You light up. One person can make a difference and that's what I believe.